niggas all real. I ride his dick to some big tall hills. Take that check, big large bills. Burn out flip like ten car wheels. Cold ass bitch, I give raw shoes. Send it for looks, and my looks so cute. I kiss him in the mouth, I feel all grills. Heat in the car, that's so real. I was born to flex, diamonds on my neck. I like more than jets, I like more than sex. But nothing in this world that I like more than checks. Whatever you wanna see is done. I don't really need a dandy done. All a bad bitch need is done. Hi everyone, my name is Siobhan and Portia is my best friend. So today I'm going to talk to you guys about Portia and her coming out story. Now, what I'm going to say to you guys, Portia does not know. But she'll find out when she edits this video. So Portia and I met three years ago when Portia was Daryl. I'm sorry. But when we first met, there was an instant connection. I don't know what it was, but it was something about Daryl that made me trust him. So through our daily talks and interactions, I knew there was something special about him. But I can also tell that there was something eating him up inside. Now, I didn't want to say what I thought, so I just waited for him to tell me now it's a couple months later and I find out that Porsche came out immediately I already supported him and I knew that he needed to know that I was there for him no matter what now when Porsche decided that she wanted to transition into Porsche she knew that I was her number one supporter. Now, even though I supported her, I was still afraid. Not afraid of her transitioning, but afraid of how this world is. And I knew that I had to be strong in order for her to be strong. Now, she doesn't know this, but deep down inside, I prayed. I prayed every day that she would be okay. But then I realized Portia didn't need me to be strong for her because she was strong all by herself. And seeing that inside her made me be strong. Portia, I love you. And I love the person that you've become. And I want you to be happy for the rest of your life. My experience with La Portia. She's fantastic. Um, I didn't know her prior to her transitioning but now that i do know her i'm like obsessed she has some of the smoothest legs i've ever felt in my life and she is literally like the life of any party that she, she just like lights up the room she's amazing from like her different mini hairstyles to her makeup to her face her eyelashes just everything about her i did however see a picture of her before and she was fine so i know she had people like all in her face but um so far she's like an amazing friend i met her a year ago and we've just been cool ever since like we clicked so fast so i thank my friends for like introducing us and um like she's really good like she gives me good advice and um, I listen to her sometimes, even though I don't want to. But she's amazing. Like, I can't wait to see, like, how she turns out in life. Because I just feel like she deserves everything that, like, she wants. Portia, I love you. Hello. My name is Samantha. I'm doing this video to um, talk about my girl Portia. So, um, Portia, Portia, Portia. That's my boo right there. That is my boo. I absolutely love her. 
She is a great person to be around. She's fun. She's amazing. She's confident. She's she's inspiring. Like she's such a great person. And um one thing about her that I love the most is who she is. Like I've watched Portia go from the person she used to be to the phenomenal woman she is now. And I think it's absolutely amazing that she was able to build such confidence to become the woman she is today. Because there's not a lot of people are, you know, are able to step out or able to build the confidence and the strength to step out and say, look, listen, this is who I want to be and actually go for it. Like uh, Portia, she, she went for it. She went for it. She ain't let nobody get in her way. She ain't let nobody stop her. She she did it. She did it. And she has a long way to go. But as of right now, she's progressing so much and so well as this woman that is just like, knew where she was going. She has such great plans for herself in life. And I just can't wait to see her accomplish all of her dreams and be who she wants to be. And um, if there's one thing about me, I love when the people in my circle reach for the stars and accomplish everything that they want to accomplish in life. And that's the direction that Portia's heading in, and I love her for it.
I have a great understanding of who I am in my life and what I am in my life. Like, I'm a beautiful bitch. How I feel about my sis, La Portia? That's my baby. Like, nobody understands my love for my sis, though. But, um, if you know her, you... It's honored to actually know her or whatever. But, um, I never knew her, like, before her transition or whatever. But, ever since I met her, we met through a, an old mutual friend. But, ever since I met her, it was nothing but good vibes or whatever. Hey guys. So. My name is Judy. I'm La Portia's friend, of course. Um, me and La Portia have been friends for about a year now. Uh, since last Pride. Maybe a little bit before that. But um, I actually knew La Portia before her transition um, through a mutual somebody or whatever. And um, But we just started hanging out a year ago. Um, that's the funny part about it. Um, also, um, I really don't feel any type of way about her transition. I love it. She loves it. I love it. It is what it is. Um, whatever she wants to do with her body, whatever she wants to do with her future, whatever she wants to do with her money, whatever she wants to do that makes her feel comfortable, I'm down. That's what friends are for. Um, where do I see her? In the, I see her being a wife in the future. I do see her being somebody's wife. She might be a bridezilla. But I know she'll hold the household down, and I know that's what she wants. I mean, who doesn't want a family? Um, and listen, I'm here for it. I'm here for whatever you're here for. Um, I love you. I'm always praying for you. And I hope you accomplish every goal that you want to accomplish, sis. You know, it's just certain things you guys are going to learn about me. But I really hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video. This literally means everything to me. To start showing you guys who I really am. Like, who I truly am. Besides, like, what I post on social media and Snapchat. I'm gonna really let you guys understand who the push Ivory is. Who she was. And who was she, who she will become. <laughs> What can I say about my friend La Portia? She's a great girl. She's very nice. She know how to turn up. She always is a good time, you know. I met her at work. And when I first met her, she came in the room with the presents that she got, you know, all like, hey, y'all. I was just like, hey. And ever since that day, that's my girl. She my twerk buddy. She my friend. She always, she's the type of person that will always have your back no matter what. And yeah. Thank you. For sure. Nah, no funny shit. When I hear a name, I think of the word unique. And I say the word unique because you're, I love that you're so comfortable with who you are and who you are. Like, you love your own energy. You love off yourself so much and you're so beautiful who you are like I fuck with it so hard and you were one of those people that I met that I felt like I knew my whole life and I only knew you for a few months like well first conversation was like where you been all my life bitch like <laughs> ah fuck with it gang gang so I'm Koya my Porsche's big cousin basically um growing up <laughs> crazy 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 family point blank period um I don't even know where to start with to say. All I can say is that that's my baby. She was with me through my whole pregnancy, through everything, everything, everything. And I'm just so proud about this transition. I'm happy she is comfortable and she is in her own space and you can't tell her nothing. Bitch, she is here. Take it or leave it. Love her or not. Like, don't come unless she sends for you. Hello? Over and out on this <laughs> No reason to be ashamed. You know, she lives up to herself. La Portia Ivory, as she should. So, yeah, I really love 
her I love the fact that she came out like when she came out I wasn't there when she came out but then when I seen her we spoke I love the fact that she came out instead of hiding herself from the world because it's closer we became stronger I feel like it's for the simple fact that she's a girl now because boy and female and male cousins they don't really get along but you know they're cousins so right I mean we get they get along but yeah so I had another one of those episodes where I just like started crying I literally woke up out of my sleep just to cry and it was bad this particular time now um I went to New Orleans for Mardi Gras um and I got sick not only did I get sick but uh, my friends they knew a little bit of something but my body really shut down so when you do take hormones you have some days where some of us just can't get out of bed like I really could not get out of bed like I was fighting to get out of bed and it happens like my body is changing so sometimes my body needs a couple more days to rest like can't no one keep up with me like my own body can't even keep up with me I always be on the go so it's like it's hard sometimes to get up up in the morning and be strong all right so yeah I first met you in sophomore year you was one of my first friends so you know yeah but when we transferred like we didn't really speak as much because you know we didn't see each other every day and then a few per people told me that you were gay and then i was like oh wow i mean if that were true he would have told me so i didn't you didn't tell me and then you told me like five minutes before you posted on facebook for everybody else so i was hurt i was like why you didn't tell me but i understand because you didn't tell me because you know you didn't want me to look at you different and i respect that but yeah so after that um shortly after then you came out as trans and no, I never looked at you different for any of your choices because I felt like if you're going to be happy, you're going to be happy. And I wouldn't I wouldn't judge anybody for just wanting to be their true selves. So I was happy to find out that you were finally happy in your own skin. And yeah. Okay, so um, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching my video and I can't wait to keep showing you guys more of my life and more about my channel. This is just the beginning. We got so much to go. Girl, we got to talk about my business. We got to talk about my goals, my future goals, my upcoming surgeries, my upcoming events. Like, I'm like on a ball. I can't, I'm, I gotta keep rolling, I gotta keep rolling, like, I can't, I can barely speak, I gotta keep rolling, but right now I'm sick, <laughs> so that's why I'm on Snapchat, because my camera died, and I don't feel like enough to find the battery, so I'm just gonna make this last little clip of this video, and send you guys on your way, thank you so much, I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video, mwah!